All right, so we got the the truck that I may have referred to as sick a couple times in the previous video. I don't remember. I think I mentioned it at least once, but anyway, we got it in the shop. All right, and if yeah, still sick. Anyway. I do have a larger vocabulary, it's just that I just feel that the word sick really encompasses this truck. So, there's that. <laughs> anyway, so, let me get a light. Do I have a light? Do I have anything to work with? <sighs> Let's see. Hang on a second. Breakaway Traveler doesn't plan ahead, because why? Why would you? Why would you? Oh, here's a light. Let's see. This will help things. Maybe you could see stuff. Maybe I could see stuff. Anyway. Uh, ooh. All right. So, right there is where your battery goes. Right here is a convenient area or when you're transporting your uh, your corn liquor, or maybe your uh, your uh, Coors Banquet back in the day when you couldn't get it on this side of the Mississippi, that's where you put that. There's also a corresponding spot on the other side in the cab corner for such a purpose. So it's handy. It's nice, and it comes with this decorative door pull handle, which is kind of nice. Custom custom work here anyway we got this unit running yesterday I forgot my camera because once again Ray Clay Traveler doesn't plan ahead but we're gonna sling a battery in it and we're gonna see if we can't get her to come on and so you can enjoy it embrace it it's got what some would refer to as a mild exhaust leak I'm talking it's it's mild because most of it's coming into the cab with you when you're sitting in the cab. But that's that's fine. It's easy. See, the, they put this engine here between the seats so that when it catches on fire, you don't even have to get out of the truck. You can just flip your doghouse lid open and pour your, your RC on top of it right there. There's no reason to get out. It's inconvenient to do such things. So we're going to see if we can't get it to run again because it's interesting. Uh, the plug wires are bad, uh, the points are bad, the carburetor is gummed up, the key switch is bad, and it still ran pretty damn good, and it built a lot of oil pressure. It built like 30-something PSI, which is pretty good, because a lot of these engines run weak oil pressure, so I was pretty pleased with it. But let me sling a battery in this thing, and we'll see if we can't get her to, to cooperate again, at least for a moment. Uh, before I start tearing crap off the engine, I gotta order some new spark plug wires, order some points, pull the carb off, and I'm gonna try to film all that crap, but I can't even work a tripod for a camera, so you're probably gonna have to be patient. Don't don't get emotional, alright? Hang on a second. Look at that, look at this. Look at this truck. It's awesome. Let's see here. All right. Take our crank every Jeep on the property battery. I'm gonna slam it back in there. If I can show you, because maybe you want to see Red Clay Traveler sling a battery into a extremely difficult to get to area. Um, there we go. It's convenient to reach. Oh, come on, go to your home. There we go. Put that one. Trying to make it connected. We're not going to tighten them up because that would make sense. And we don't do stuff like that here on Rick Click Trailers channel. All right, battery is hooked. Let's see if this unit will run. Because it'd be a lot cooler if it did for you. Like I say, the key switch is bad, so it's losing it's losing uh 
power to the points intermittently. So this thing's got so much ground clearance you could ride underneath it on a tricycle, I'm telling you. The four-wheel drive works in it. The whole thing. Let's get you some light, get you looking at my pretty face. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, there you go, that'll do it. That's what happens, kids. We won't tighten up your battery terminals. You're sorry, like Ray Clay Traveler. Come on. Come on, Don't don't be emotional. Just just make connection. It's only horribly corroded. burned up again because the starter does not seem happy at this thing at all. So. Oh, you huzzy, come on. Rickley Drambler lifestyle here. On. Son of a biscuit. pumps running you can hear it clacking see it's a runner it wants to run right. like I say mild exhaust leak okay is what I'm trying to tell you and that's good that's one last thing it helps if you get the batteries connected properly um, it's dark as hell in here but let's see if I can't show you some more of its custom custom features oh all right so it runs we've established that the shifter in this thing is neat because it's on this, it's on a ball. It's on this ball joint with all this linkage. So there's reverse, there's first, that's second, that's third. This is your single stick four wheel drive transfer case. This is the first, from what I understand, the first year, first vehicle the Jeep ever put a single stick transfer case in it. From what I understand, okay. So I drove it around and sorry, I'm getting the camera like jammed against my head. Um, I drove it around in four low, 
I cruised around, like I said, kept losing power, so it was quitting intermittently and stuff. I need to get in here and put a new fuel pump on it, a factory fuel pump, because this fuel pump back here, ow, damn it, this fuel pump back here is uh, not trail rated, okay? The other one, um, oh, leaking gas severely. That's good. Um, other one didn't work. And I know why they put this electric fuel pump back here. I know why they did it, because you can't even see the damn fuel pump on the engine. Because this thing wasn't made for maintenance sink. So, it's not like ideal for general maintenance. But, we're gonna, we're gonna order some fuel pump, or some points, wires, um, all that kind of good stuff. We're gonna pull this carb off, pull the carburetor off right there, and make sure it's all right. The choke is still working because it, it cranks on high idle. You throttle it to kick off. Um, these points look kind of raunchy in there. This is how you fill the radiator. Okay, that's what this is. The radiator's down there up underneath the Jeep where you can't even see it. That's your old bath air cleaner. Take it out, put some fresh oil in it. The biggest thing we're gonna deal with here that I'm kind of concerned with is that these, these spark plugs look just, let's see, can you see that spark plug? That spark plug right there just looks like it's welded in there. If you can see it, it just looks, it looks like it might be controversial to get out. So we're going to, Gonna blow all that crap off the top of those plugs and then we're gonna soak it with some croil or PB blast and see if we can't get that crap uh, loosened up. I might even crank it, let it run, get the block hot, get the head hot, get it warmed up some before I try to take them out because I'm not interested in snapping a plug off on the top of my SIG 226 that actually runs, unlike that other truck over there that has to be a problem. Um, but, yeah, this thing's a runner. Get the exhaust hooked back up. I need to diagnose. I don't know if it's cracked or if just the gas gets blown out. And then, once we do that, um, we'll pull the wheels off and we'll take a look at the wheel cylinders. And then take a look at the master cylinder, check our brake lines, get our fuel pump hooked up, and then then we'll do a proper test drive with it and see see how see how how she performs. Because the amount of ground clearance, I hope you can appreciate just the amount of ground clearance this thing has. Factory. I'm like, I know you're probably thinking, like, that's nothing, man. Like, no, like that's factory. Look how much ground clearance it's got in the front. This damn thing. I'm not kidding. Alexander the Great could have done anything he wanted. You know, anything he wanted with this rig. And the best part is, is our, our light here works. Let me, let me, let me demonstrate it working for you. Okay. So there you go. See that? In the center of the screen. Oh, it's intermittently working. There you go. See, there it is. This thing's got a, look at that. You rotate it, turn it up and down. This thing right here, it's got cop brakes, cop shocks, souped up, you know. Do anything you want with it. Um, what else was I going to tell you about this rig? Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's it's badass. I feel like I should mention that again. Um, the windshield up here is pretty pretty bad. You can see that it's pretty pretty bad, and this glass is actually pretty good. I'm kind of worried about it falling out. This glass is worth a bunch of money, even with the fog in it, because you can get new glass for it, but it's it's not convenient, and it's pretty high. And this, like I say, this is patina. That ain't hurt enough. Shows a character. But the exhaust back here looks fairly new, so I'm thinking it's just the donut gasket or something pulling out up here. Um, I'm hoping, anyway. But... 
I'm going to go ahead and hook the hose up and blow these spark plugs on the top of the motor off. And then we'll see about soaking it with some PP blast for right now. And then when we order the new stuff, we'll get a new set of plugs for it and everything. Get this battery unhooked if I can. Man, there's just nowhere good to put a flashlight where y'all can see anything. Not much, but you know. Really you don't want to. You don't want to lose your temper when you're working on the old FC, because then your feelings hurt, and we don't want to hurt the FC's feelings. We want the FC to know that we love it. We ain't worried about any getting down on the cylinder when we take the plug out. That'll just make some beautiful smoke. Let's see here. There we go. That's all six. So we'll let that soak for a long while. And then when we get our new wires and plugs and points and all that crap, we can snap them off with some oil around them. So that'll make it, that'll make it nice. But I've got to go to Alabama tomorrow to deliver some parts to a gentleman. And then uh, possibly, maybe at the end of the week, if it works out, possibly delivering some other stuff to a different guy. So, uh, Rackley Trailer does a lot of driving, if you didn't notice. Always on the road, you know. I might as well be a truck driver, but except for I'm dealing with cheap trucks. Which, what is the point in going long distance if you're not getting a cheap truck? I kept asking my buddy when we went to get this truck, I'm like, where are all these people going? Why don't they have a trailer with a Jeep truck on it? What are they doing with their lives? Probably sensible things. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a little short video here of the FC running and telling you what I'm going to do to it because I've got to order these parts. Um, and that'll be the first thing I want to get it running good. Get it real set there and idle and everything. You don't have to mess with it. Once we get that done, we'll move on to the brakes. We might change the bushings and the leaf springs or something. We might do that at some point. And then, so, get it running right, get the fuel pump on it, get the brakes dialed in. And then what I'd like to do in the future is put disc brakes on the front of this thing. That's what I'd like to do. So the thing's heavier than you think that it is. It's pretty, and it's all front heavy. So when you're wheeling, you know, flatbed cowboy, forward control cowboy here, when you're wheeling, you need that, you need that stopping power up in the front. So... Remember, if you like Rick Lay Traveler's channel, you like seeing the antiquated jeeps, you enjoy my banter and whatnot, then please consider subscribing. Do me a solid. I appreciate it. You don't got to. You can keep watching. It's fine. Whatever. Just know that you're hurting me for no reason. You know. But anyway, this is Rick Lay Traveler signing out. I will hope that you have a pleasant tomorrow, and I will see you all shortly. Sickness.